five things in no particular order that I really like about the Celestron Regal M2 80mm spotting scope. Uh, first of all, the ease of use and handling. This is without the stay on case, which does, when it's fitted, it does make things a little bit more tricky. But as you're looking through, you're not searching round for everything, it's all to hand the, the dual use, the uh, dual speed, sorry, uh, focus wheels there, adjusting the, the tilt there, the uh, little locking nut here for the uh, collar adjustment, the focuser. Uh, the eye cup uh, twisting whether you're in and out for whether you're a spectacle user or not everything is so ridiculously easy to use and uh, the uh, second thing I really like about this scope is the edge of field sharpness it in particular at lower magnifications it's pretty much as sharp as in the center and not just for visual that that makes it ideal for digiscoping but be aware that when I say something is sharp to the edge that's only 50% of, of the answer the other 50% is how sharp to the edge is the smartphone or other camera that you are using and so with the eyepiece uh, in, in mind which will come on to uh, another really good thing I like about this scope and uh, it accepts 1.25 inch astronomical eyepieces and so excuse the pun that the choice you can have to fit on this is astronomical the numbers are huge be aware that this won't accept a Barlow lens and it won't get infinity focus uh, uh, with ultra wide angle lenses uh, 82 uh, millimeter for example uh, right and uh, and uh, also low light capability uh, number four absolutely fantastic uh, for low light observing again with uh, the lowest magnification uh, wide field astronomy even better if you put in a fixed 30 to 40 millimeter uh, eyepiece the best plus you can possibly afford so perfect for not just uh, dusk and dawn situations but also wide field astronomy, uh, just finding your way around the night sky, around the constellations, some, some of the brighter star clusters. And yes, for those of you who think there is nothing else in the night sky than the moon, Jupiter and Saturn, you'll see plenty of craters on the moon. Fantastic for digiscoping with, you know, you'll get some lovely photographs of that. Uh, uh, Saturn, yes, you will see the rings around them. Jupiter, you'll see the two main cloud belts, but they will be very small. This is yeah, this is more of a, a general use spotting scope for astronomy and bird watching, uh, more so for bird watching. And last but no mees, means least, have you noticed something? This is not a photographic tripod. This is a Celestron AZ that you get with the AZ Astromaster series. The, uh, the, the plate here that, that fits onto the tripod, it is actually tapered a little bit. I'll show you in a photograph which means it will go it will fit on astronomical uh, tripods and mounts uh, so if you, if you do want to put it on an EQ mount and you want it to track the stars and say so you're not actually adjusting uh, yourself uh, constantly at, you know keeping things in the center then yeah and very very sturdy mount uh, this is the slash on AZ but uh, plenty more similar ones available uh, if it comes with an, a, a, uh, an EQ mount, uh, then uh, with a dovetail attachment, sorry, then yes, this scope will fit on it, but it will also fit on uh, normal photographic tripods. Uh, but as always, get the best and uh, most stable one you can possibly afford. So that's just five things I like about this scope. I could talk a lot more about the image quality and build quality, etc., but I just thought I'd pick out five key factors and so link to purchase in the description below uh, you are supporting our channel by doing so and as always reply to the order confirmation email saying that you watch our youtube channel and i'll put something extra in the box so i hope this helps and i shall see you next time